Smith County is celebrating the opening of a new village for homeless vets. Yeah, the village is made up of small wooden pods that resemble tiny houses. And the goal is to get the vets off the streets just before winter comes. Now, our Jennifer Dowling is at one of those pods. Can show us more? I'm inside one of those tiny houses right now, and PSU students design these pods, and they're built from these trusses here. Trusses here. Uh, these are from the Pickathon Music Festival about a year ago, so they use recycled materials in these homes. There is no electricity in them except a battery-powered light. However, there is running water, laundry facilities, and toilets at the front of the property that can be shared, so that's going to be a much better experience than sleeping on the streets. Now, the village took about two years to plan and build, and today, county commissioners celebrated with an opening ceremony dedicating the space to those who've served to maintain our freedoms. The village will be staffed for around 10 hours a day from the nonprofit Do Good Multnomah, but otherwise, the vets will be encouraged to develop the kind of community they want to live in. The hope is to transition the vets within a six month time frame into better housing. We want to move them into permanent uh, supportive housing from here, but at least what happens here is we're able to get them in a place where we can provide services for them. County spokesperson Emily Kepler tells me there would be a two-year time limit for residents staying here as the goal is to get the housing uh, permanent and for this to be only transitional. Klepper says in 2016 there were at least 85 homeless vets counted in Clackamas County. They hope to eventually house 30 people here, putting a dent in that number. And there were a lot of items donated here, including these blankets. And there's other toiletries that have been given to the organizations to help the vets when they move in. They think that could be at the end of the month. That's what they're hoping. We'll have more on this coming up at 5 and 6. Back to you. Hopefully this innovative solution will work. Thank you, Jennifer.